Hi everyone, it's me, Miss Callie G, Joseph Krupper, whatever you like to call me right now. I don't look like Miss Callie G, but she is me. I am here once again, oh my goodness, I'm taking my glasses off. Hey, okay, I am here because we are going to be making something different today. I'm not gonna be sewing a whole lot, I don't think. What we are going to be doing is making a headpiece and I actually have Miss Zay, uh, my, my good friend Justin, coming over to help me with this headpiece that I'm going to be making for our next reading time, which is, I believe, going to be called Lovebirds, because it's Valentine's Day and, you know, pink and birds are fun. So when I was just starting to do drag in the bars scene, I was told that I had to make a very certain headpiece. And yes, I, I did stone it, but I didn't construct the base layer. So this is gonna be a little bit new for me today, but I kind of think I know what's happening and Zay knows better about what's happening. So we are working together. This is a headpiece that I made. Um, it's a little, it needs a little scrunching up, I think. But you can see this is all covered in rhinestones. Oh, it's so pretty and sparkly. Why do I not wear this? It's very gaudy. But it's built out of though, is this, <laughs> a plastic bag, which not only is blowing through the wind in Katy Perry's song, but also everyone has a million of in Idaho because we have not passed an ordinance to ban them. So good for me, I suppose. And then the rest of it is made out of duct tape. This is duct tape and wire. And it is, it's, it's, it's quite fun. This was something that took me way too long to make, but you know, it turns out and I think looks kind of interesting. This has just been crushed over the years because I literally have not worn it since the years ago that I wore it that first time. So and of course I'm going to make another one. And what you're going to need is of course a plastic bag. I am going to be making one that is pink. And so I have some pink duct tape here. The reason that I'm making it pink is because I want to dress up like a flamingo. This is something I've wanted to do for a while. I wouldn't say I have a fascination with flamingos, but I have had a couple of flamingo based outfits before. This time I'm going to be the flamingo. So I bought some lawn flamingos. Probably I'm gonna use this one. And what's gonna happen is the flamingo is gonna come out of my forehead. I'm just gonna bring you along with that journey. And yes, oh, the other thing I wanted to show you. This is a dress. So this is a dress that was given to me by my good friend, Jerrica. And hi, shout out to Jerrica. Was used in pageants from what I understand. It has all these blings and it is floor length. So what I'm going to be doing is taking this dress and just making a little more drag. I have all of those feathers that I'm gonna be using to trim it somehow. This is a slightly different pink than the flamingo feathers that I have. They're chicken feathers, but you know, they're gonna be flamingo feathers. But I don't know if that will be good for me or not. Obviously it'll be a contrast, contrasting pinks. Of the dresses that I have that are pink, this is the one that I think will work the best for this. So that's what we're gonna do. Say hi. <laughs> hi. <laughs> okay, I have my hair covered and Justin's gonna start taping up my head. So let's, let's do it. That's the plastic bag. Ah! Okay, so we just take the tape like this. And we just uh, tape down the plastic bag, I suppose.
going to trace around because you want to cut there and then tape it all down, I believe. I will have to ask Justin. <laughs> Amazing. And there you go, that's the headpiece. It's all done. Uh, uh, we, uh, uh, oh. oh, we have to cut it out now. Okay. Uh, it's a little high here. Yeah. yeah. You just take you take some wire and you line it up on the edge of uh, your crease. And that is how you keep it sturdy and things, I guess. Alrighty, and there is the headpiece. It is a helmet, a bubblegum helmet. Probably could add some more tape in, inside, but uh, you don't want to do that too much because it gets real sweaty. We made some little ear flaps or like sideburn flaps, and so I'm taking the wire and putting some there too, just so it covers the side of my head. Okay, so now that be care, be careful, go slowly, go slow. Okay, just yeah. yeah uh, Thanks. <laughs> um, yeah. So we've traced out where we want this to be, and we're very cautiously sawing this bird up. We've decided to change direction. We're just going to do the head. So we're taking the head off and we're just going to put this right here. And it's going to be a big head directly out of the head. And it's going to be beautiful.
Hi, it is a week later. I have done basically nothing. We did do like bigger rollers on top, but I went and replaced them with smaller rollers because it just wasn't curling the way that I wanted it to. And I don't really want to have to do a lot of teasing and anything. I just want it to be like the illusion of like hair coming out the back or something. The next thing, and actually pretty much the final thing that I have to do, putting gems all over everywhere that you can see the, the pink on the outside. So I have these gems and I'm just gonna start gluing them on. Before I forget, I completely broke my handy dandy little stand here. So I, I, mean it, I mean, it's probably usable for some things, but not for putting on the table. So you don't get close up shots until I get a new one. So because I don't have a tripod to put this on, I can't just like sit here and talk to you. So I have to hold the camera instead. Hopefully you don't get nauseous. I am just here watching RuPaul's Drag Race and taking out the curls. And I think the curls are looking really nice. This is kind of a cool wig. It was straight before you saw. And this side has some like black highlights and this side has some pink ones. And that's cute. I'm gonna take the rest of them out and then brush through it and see what happens. So she's kind of interesting. Um, <laughs> I think I need to trim some of this in the front or else I'm gonna be having some problems. But yeah, it's just gotten all fluffy in the back and um, I'm very pleased with that. Okay, and before I forget to show this, I did a little bit of painting to the beak just to cover up some of the bad painting jobs and also added unnecessarily gendered lashes. But how could you not? How could you not add lashes onto the top of this drag flamingo? How could you not? Hi, y'all. It's been a whole nother week since I've done anything on this, um, this outfit at all, except for the eyelashes. I have been racking my brain as to exactly what I want to do with the feathers because I do want to incorporate feathers. I know I was thinking about doing some stuff on the sleeves. I kind of have gone past that and here's why. I don't think it'll look good and I don't think it's the vibe that I want to do. However, I do think that the skirt part is a bit plain for my taste. I bought six boas and I am willing to use as many feathers as it takes to like put some accents here. However, I think I'm only going to need one. So I have a boa here. I have already started taking chunks off of it. You can see the feathers flying everywhere. I take a little bit of it 
make sure it's all, um, you know, all the, like, the loose ends are figured out so that there's actually feathers on it. And then I'll just take one of those gems, put it in the middle of that, and I get one of these things. What I'm hoping to do is just put a bunch of those all down the, the skirt. Now, I know that just because it's reading time and it's digital, that's probably the part you're not gonna see as much, but I think that that will give it the, the pop of flair that I need for the peacocky, the flamingo -y, excuse me. <laughs> flamingo -y. The rest of the feathers, so I'll have five boas left, braiding them together and making a big old boa. And I think that it will satiate my need to have some feathers around this area. Don't need to overcomplicate things. Hi, I just broke my glue gun. Can you hear that? It's broken. And I'm only halfway done. So guess what I have to do now in order to get this done? Go buy a new one, which is not the thing that I want to do or spend money on. But when your glue gun is dead, oh gosh, and Spike gave me this one too. I'm sad, I'm sad. It sounded when it happened like a piece of plastic came off of it. So, RIP glue gun, I guess. I'm back from the Joanne. Of course, it was not a simple trip. A new craft and DIY high temp combo pack glue gun. Uh, they were having a little deal where if you bought some thing, then you got to take home one of their discarded Christmas gifts. So I got this, albeit broken, but very large Christmas bow. And it is very large. And normally $12.99, but for today's price was the great price of free. Um, I did pay some money for this very cute chicken. Look at this chicken. Look at all those chickens. Well, here is, so I, off camera, I just braided five boas together. So they're one big boa. And see, like, if you place it like this, it gets all the feathery goodness. You still get to see all the little sparklies. And then, yeah, down here, there's lots of feathers that will, um, you know, zhuzh it up. Looks like I murdered a flamingo in here. I have... A leftover duct tape roll from making my headpiece. What you do is you, it's, it, it can be a bracelet. You know, it's kind of funny, but basically you just wrap this in this, even though it was already wrapped in this. And then, you know, you can decorate it. And I'm just gonna be doing it out of the same gems that I use for a headpiece.
and that's pretty much the whole thing. I just got this all done, and um, yeah, and she, she's she been done, and uh, the dress is done, and so it's a week before reading time, but next time you see me in like three seconds, I'm gonna be all dragged out. Here we go! Woo! Okay, hi, this is me, Callie G. I know I look amazing. Um, the most beautiful you ever did see. This is the final look. So here, here's the, here's the, I think, I can't remember what we named the flamingo, but she's on the head. My apartment's very uh, low, so I, I'm crouching all day today. It's great, it's wonderful, it's a wonderful time. I would change nothing about this outfit. Why, why would you choose a single thing? Uh, thank, thank you to, to Justin. Uh. Thank you. <laughs> I feel, yes, like a bird brain and I'm very excited to do reading time very soon. Love you all very much. See you in my next video. Goodbye. Woo! Stay plucky. Stay plucky. <laughs>